Hey guys, it's Julia and welcome back to my channel and for today's video I'm going to be giving you guys a little life update. So I was debating whether or not to make this video but I've been vlogging on and off and I've been up at university if you do not know and I live like two and a half hours away from home so I don't get this background a lot and I've been meaning to film up there and I just haven't done it and I vlogged a bit up there so I will insert like vlog footage in this video just because give more of an update because I don't have enough footage for like an actual full vlog but essentially I just wanted to talk to you guys about some life updates school books reading upload stuff and just kind of fill you guys in on all of that and I also have an unboxing in a clip in this video as well if you're interested. <laughs> so starting with reading of course I haven't been reading as much I've been in school since September so I've been at uni for about six weeks five weeks and I've just been getting into the groove of things if you don't know I'm a first year criminology student so it's a big adjustment especially living on my own and things like that so that is all a lot and not to mention the amount of reading I have to do for school is really significant so Basically, I'm gonna start counting <laughs> textbooks on my Goodreads and we're gonna do that because that's what I've been reading. But in the last six weeks, I've literally listened to one audiobook and I'm halfway through another book. So I haven't been reading that much and I'm trying to make it a priority to read more and film more and that stuff because I was just trying to get my bearings at uni and get my filming back on track, my Patreon back on track, and my reading back on track because I am the happiest when I am uploading and reading a ton and super active in the booktube community and with all my friends. So so I will insert some footage just of me and I'll put the dates that I filmed them up that were just me talking about the books I'm reading and what I thought of some books and yeah jump right into that. Hey guys it's Julia and welcome to a new vlog or reading vlog. I don't know what this is gonna be but basically I am on I just finished my first two weeks at university and I was kind of settling and trying to get everything together so I haven't been filming much but I did upload a video in that meantime. For today I just wanted to start a vlog and do some unboxings for you guys and talk about the books I've been reading. So the book that I've read in the last little bit is You Are a Badass I'm Making Money by Jen Sincero. I listened to this one on audiobook. I thoroughly enjoyed my experience listening to this. I think it's a great motivational self-help kind of book and I did get a lot of use out of it. Basically it just talks about how how to make money, how to save money, how people view money and how you should look at money and all of that. So it was really interesting and I really liked it, especially because I'm getting into all of that stuff. Not that I like getting into working with my own finances more. So that was a really helpful tool. The only thing I would say about it is it, it is preachy sometimes. Like it is, of course, but, and it's not like the greatest self-help book I've, or self-improvement book that I've ever read, but I still really enjoyed it and got some use out of it, but I'm giving it like a 3.5. Like I liked it and I, I really liked the audiobook as well. I think it will help people, but I don't know how much it will help you if you're really familiar with like finances and all that. I don't know if it will add that much for you, but for me it really helped. Um, but yeah, so I read that and that was good. And then I also listened to What If It's Us by Becky Albertalli and Adam Silvera. I'm currently reading this one. I'm not listening to it, I'm reading it. I am about 100 to 150 pages in, somewhere around there. I have it back up at uni, so I don't have it here. But I'm liking that one so far. It's basically about these two boys who meet in a post office and then they don't exchange numbers or anything and then they're both kind of trying to fi like find each other again and it's really cute and the way the story's written is really like relaxed teenage lingo like fun contemporary um jokes and it's just a really fun book and so i'm really liking that one so far uh, i just think it's a really like fun and enjoyable read i don't think it's offered anything new yet or it's not like remarkable yet but I'm like, enjoying my time reading it just been reading it really slow I'm kind of sick all of a sudden so if my voice is like that that's why but I wanted to give you guys a little haul so it was my birthday the other day I don't know if I mentioned that it was my birthday so um, I picked myself up a few books and yeah, I'm really excited to show them to you guys. So I picked up Serpent and Dove and this one one's about a witch so that's why I wanted to pick it up but it also is a romance and I think she falls for the witch hunter that's after her and I'm just really interested to read it 
it looks beautiful and I've heard really great things about this one so far so I heard it all the romance is also like gonna get pretty good so I'm excited for this I got capturing the devil which I'm so excited about you guys know I really love this series yeah this one is the fourth book in the stalking Jack the Ripper series and we follow a girl named Audrey Rose she works with dead bodies basically and does um, all the work for them before a funeral and there's like autopsies in this book and it's gory and descriptive and it's also set also are set during cool time periods so the previous one was escaping from houdini which took place on a ship and then the one before that was hunting prince dracula which i love too and then the first one is stalking jack the ripper which i don't love the first book but the second and third one are amazing so i'm so excited about this i got a chapter sample of this one so i'm really excited to own the physical full book now and it's probably gonna be my next read i also got the institute for anyone that is wondering um this is the new stephen king book that came out and all i know is it's about like a kid with superpowers kind of thing so he's going back to his old roots there and i'm really excited to see what he's going to bring to the table this time i'm hoping to read this re sooner rather than later i'm bringing it up to me with university along with the other two so i will have them there yes i'm excited to read this one i go into stephen king books kind of blind so i'm really interested to see what this one is gonna offer yeah so for today i have some family coming over and i also have packing to do because i'm going back up to university so we gotta get that done i do want to film this morning if i can but my voice is dead and i want to get out my it chapter 2 um movie review but my voice is non-existent so i don't know how i'm gonna talk for a whole video <laughs> So I might wait till I feel better and then just like get ready for my day and at the end of the day I'll have to pack up and leave so we'll do that. Um, I also for audiobooks I I didn't bring my What If Fits Us home so I haven't read any of that but I did get a copy of I forget the book it's by Elizabeth Gilbert it's the self-help book Big Magic or something yes I got that on audiobook I thought I wasn't gonna get that for like another month so when I got it today I was like oh so I'm going to download that. I probably won't listen to it today, but probably like tomorrow just because I listen to them when I get ready for school and like when I'm doing chores. But yeah, I'm going to have some time at home today and then I'll head back up tonight. And I'm actually really excited to go back up because I don't know, I like it up there. So I'm really excited to go back up and see all my friends there and like get back into the groove of studying and have all that. And yeah, I'm really liking my classes. And if anyone has any questions about any of that, just ask down below. I'd love to answer them for you. And yeah, so I'll talk to you guys soon. Now I want to show you guys an unboxing. So Goddess Provisions worked with me and they and they decided to send me one of their boxes. And I was so honored because this box is so cool. And I talk about it so much in the next clip so i'll show you guys that but if you have ever been interested in their boxes or anything from them i will have all the links down below if you're into anything witchcraft self-care related aromatherapy they're definitely the people to check out i'll have my link down below in my code for you guys it smells really good so i really don't know oh my god look it's so cute sorry i'm so excited um oh my god this is so cute so first up here we have hedge witch and this is a air element tea so this has red clover peppermint lavender lemon star and something linden and this is a little bag of tea which is really exciting so that's really cute it smelt this is why the it smelled so good so that's really cool and it's a pretty good size too this is also ooh this is breathe uh herbal aromatherapy enhancer so it's like an essential oil or something Oh, it's one of the things that used to have, like, you know when you would have a cold and you would use those things? It's like that, but it's aromatherapy, and it's to clear um, cold, cold sinuses, allergies, and headaches, and perfect. I need this right now. I love that. Thank you. I needed this right now because I'm getting sick, if you couldn't tell by my voice. This is really cool. So it's with essential oils of eucalyptus, peppermint, fir needle, Italian lemon, cardamom, cardamom tea tree and leaf laurel leaf so yeah this is really cool i'm really happy with this so far this is a body oil that's like chamomile citron it says this is the body oil right here that it comes with and also a pretty good size as well so it's 60 mil milliliters 
I love this so much. Okay. Oh, it's so cute. I Okay, it's all packaged really nice. I'm I'm really impressed, to be honest, about how much stuff is in here. Yeah, this is a little body oil and restorative herbal oil. Ooh. Okay. It smells really good, too. I love that. Um, these are all little wraps, so I assume they're little crystals. Um, oh my god, this is pretty. Not gonna let me show you, but it's really cool. It looks like a smoky quartz. I could be wrong. I'll probably check the packaging in a second. Ooh, 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 ooh. is this essential oil? Wait. Activated oxygen? Hemp? I don't know what this is. Let's find out. Um, ooh. Whoa, whoa, okay. It says skincare thing. Um, hemp seed oil with activated oxygen. Castor oil, black seed oil. A bunch of different oils. It's organic, so I guess you use this on your skin. I guess it's like a little oil that you can use. Um, I'm sure it will tell me on the card. And then in here, I think this is a essential oil. Oh my god. This has everything I love in it. Okay. Oh, it leaked a bit. Okay. Yeah, it leaked a little bit. Probably because it's been in my house for 10 years and I didn't, I wasn't home to get it. But this is air. Yeah, it leaked a little bit. Okay. Which is okay. But yeah, it smells really good. It has the air symbol on it and it's pure essential oil blend. Doesn't really tell me. But yeah, it's, it's like half... It's like half full because I it, guess it leaked in the box, which it kind of did. Um, but it leaked mostly in the wrapper, so it didn't really get anything dirty. And then, I don't know what this is, but this is in here. I really love this box so far, so. So. This is, I don't know. Wait, you hang, you hang this up, I assume. You hang this up. Oh, okay. So this is like the air symbol. Okay, yeah, this is the air box. That's what I thought. And bell making is an ancient Indian craft with enhancing origins, traditionally used by farmers to identify their livestock. Each bell, each bell is hand tuned to produce a distinct chime made from recycled metal. Um, yeah, it's rustic bells. It's handmade. Okay, so they wrapped it in like a little thing. Product copper bell. So it's like a little copper bell. This is so cool, look. So this is the card it came with. And it has a monthly mantra in it. It has the artist in it. And it has all this divination, divine details. So uh, rate your box and win, plant a tree. So for every box sold, we plant a tree with our partners, which is really cool. Um, we love recycling. Your box and this card, 100% 100, 100 recyclable. Uh, monthly giveaway, refer goddess program. So I do have links for you guys if you want that. Honestly, should get these boxes instead of book boxes. I'm kidding, but like, these are super fun. So yeah, if you're into any of the, even if you're not into any type of witchcraft or anything like that, this is also just super um, about the elements and about tea and aromatherapy and self-care. And there's a crystal in here and body oil and stuff. So this was great. There's also a digital bonus. So you get a free download of something. So yeah, it was a smoky quartz, a the breather enhancer, the aromatherapy, the little drops, the essential oils basically, the body oil, uh, the tea, the good medicine, Electra, so the skincare item. Place six of charms on your palm and gently press onto your skin. And the Matra Bumi Fair Trade Wind Chime. So this is what it looks like in there. And yeah, this is what the card looks like. And yeah, that was the box. So this is what it looks like on the inside. It looks super cool. I'll have the site linked down below if you guys want to check out a box or if you want to take a look at the website. So I'll have that all down below as well as my links. And just general updates about how uni is going. I am really happy there. I really like living on my own and I've managed to fit 60 of my books in there. I'll insert pictures of my shelves and some of my room because I'm sure some of you guys are curious about the dorm, but that's how I got it to look and that's how it's going so far. So. 
that's what's happening there. I, for anyone who's interested in like the courses I'm taking, I'm taking this semester, I have women's, women's and gender studies, psychology, sociology, criminology, and social justice. So I'm taking all those courses right now for those who are interested. So for those of you who are also in school right now, I wanted to wish you so much luck. It's super stressful and it makes, I kind of felt bad that I wasn't reading as much because I'm busy reading for school or I'm busy uh, going to class and doing schoolwork. And then I also am trying to make time for like um, family stuff, my own personal time, which I get none of, um, but then also trying to socialize, join clubs, get involved on campus, stuff like that. So it's been an adjustment. But yes, I also cut my hair the other day for those of you who care, but yeah, I did that. Um, in terms of TV shows, movies, all that fun stuff, I've been watching The Big Mouth season three came out, so I've been watching a bit of that. I've also been watching American Horror Story, and I did a video recently about books and American Horror Story and stuff, but I'm in the middle of Hotel, and then I'm also watching the newest season as those come out, um, the 1984 season. For films, I watched It Chapter Two, which I'll have my, re my review linked up on the screen about that if you wanna know any of my thoughts. I also watched the Joker movie, which I posted it on my Instagram story, and I got a lot of questions about um, how I liked it and I would recommend it. And I'm not a person who's super involved in like that fandom or in that universe. I'm just not. I went to see it with my boyfriend because he really wanted to see it. And it did look interesting to me because Joker is a cool villain, but I'm not like a hardcore fan of the entire series franchise or any of that. So I just don't have an opinion to offer, even on my letterbox where I track my movies. I just didn't rate it because I don't think I have enough background knowledge and enough thoughts, I guess, to rate it. Um, but I thought it was an interesting film. It dragged, I think, a bit at the beginning, but it definitely picked up and was a lot. And there's a lot of trigger warnings for it. So I would definitely recommend looking into those before you watch it. I think that is all the updates I have to give you guys today. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know some requests for videos you would like to see in the future. And I will put a poll up if you do want to see me kind of film more in my dorm and stuff. And it's going to be a different background, of course. But if you do really want me to film up there, let me know because I can. It's just I'm kind of nervous about it. But let me know. And hopefully I'll have some new recent reads videos out soon for you guys. And October's here, so maybe I'll vlog for Spookathon. I don't know. We'll find out. But thank you guys so, so much for sticking around. We hit 19,000. So happy. So shocked about that. Thank you so much. My end goal of the year is 20K. I said it at the beginning. And I honestly didn't think I was going to reach it. But, like, I might. So thank you guys so much. And... Yeah, I really appreciate it. Yeah, and I've been doing some giveaways as well. So if you want to check out any giveaways, they're usually on my Instagram or on my Patreon or my Twitter or whatever. So yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching and I'll see you super soon. Bye.